Well, here we go with the Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Welcome to the Toyota Bassmaster Studios. I'm Tommy Sanders here with Ronnie Moore. And Ronnie, this is the biggest week in high school fishing. I mean, it is a giant playing field and a giant field, and it's a giant occasion. It is, it is. It's the biggest high school tournament of them all. The opportunity to win and, and gain scholarships, notoriety, and make that jump maybe to the college series uh, is right there in front of them. Like you said, big playing field. Not many lakes in the country can host 300 plus teams and have them all spread out and not be on top of each other. Kentucky Lake is one of those venues. Well, these teams have worked very hard, as you said, Ronnie, to get to this championship, and they will not be denied a giant challenge again. Look at this playing field. Kentucky Lake, two and a half times bigger than any other reservoir on the Tennessee River. Built back in 1944 to keep a, a disaster like the 1927 flood from happening again. It is huge, 160,000 plus acres of water. 2,000 miles plus of shoreline. It's 160 miles long. It can be baffling to try to figure this place out. And last year we got to see a lot of teams figure it out and dial it in. This team, West Rollo, Hunter Owens. We lost Hunter Owens this year in a car accident. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family. And West competed in his honor this year. We saw a lot of offshore fishing, a lot of shallow fishing, large mouth played, small mouth played as well a little bit. We've seen years where small mouth dominated and right won mouth, for the winning right? team. And a lot of different aspects, but the team that got it done last year, Briarwood Christian. 18 pounds, nine ounces. And Briarwood Christian School is gonna take home this trophy. Well, there they are. Take a look at our leading team after day number one. Yeah, you got it. Briarwood Christian School from Birmingham, Alabama. Totally impressive weight there, 19 pounds and 11 ounces. Remember, this is the team that won it all in 2018. How improbable is that? Abby Bell High School from South Carolina, also been a player through the years in this uh, Bassmaster High School National Championship, and all 300 teams are at it again on day number two. They'll give it eight more hours on this daunting, daunting Kentucky Lake. So many directions you can take and uh, so many different outcomes you have to look out for, but our champions from last year have a plan. Yesterday, um, it was really tough. We probably got five or six bites all day. It was a grind, but we managed to get them in the boat. Um, today, we're going to run us something a little bit different to give that place a little less pressure, and then we're going to go back there and see if we can catch a few more. Yeah, yeah that's what we're going to do today. Pretty much what he said, it was tough yesterday. It wasn't easy by any means, and we were in this position last year. We were sitting fifth, but we, that was the biggest bag that we've ever caught out here yesterday. So. I don't know, we got six bites, I think, yesterday, the right ones, uh, capitalized on it. And so we're going to go out today, change a few things up, like you said, and uh, just see how it plays out. Even though Kentucky Lake's one of the most vast fisheries in the world, Tommy, the same areas tend to play a lot of good regions on this lake, and one of those, Big Sandy Creek, not far from the Paris takeoff. As we follow the day one leaders, Briarwood, they're going to head to their spot. It's a familiar place that we saw them last year. They had it all to themselves, maybe one or two other boats in there throughout the event. But this year, they know it's going to be a little tougher. They know it's going to be a grind, like they said. They're willing to fish for just five bites because on day one, those five bites were almost 20 pounds, and it gave them the gap that they took into day two. They know that's not going to be easy, but they're willing to pay that price. Today, we went we went into it not really knowing what to expect. We were just going to do the same pattern that we did yesterday, which was we're just fishing shallow, so we we're going to cover a lot of water. We didn't have a bite till what? Yeah, probably like 10.30. 10 we were yeah. sweating. We didn't think we were going to catch five. Good job. Number one. It's a long, hard fight, but you got to get there straight down is. there, bud. <laughs> there you go, right here. We just got to catch them. They're here. We like to cut it close around here. <laughs> <laughs> he was close, too. He was like right there. Chased it. Hey, give me some. Got to catch four more. We got to catch four more. Four more grown ones. Good. Grayson Morris, uh, the graduated senior, fishing his last year of high school and making it count, although it took a while on this day number two action, this national championship. Let's get to the team from Abbeville, South Carolina. Dalen Whaley, Lily Smith, 
This team has been a big part of this championship, as we mentioned early, especially over the last four years. And Dalen Whaley has been a part of a team, not always with Lily Smith, that has made it to the top 12 three out of those four years. Just incredible stuff, and they are going to have to work for it. They want to get way back there today. If you're, I mean, people with these new boats out here, if you're not willing to go back there and, I mean, that's Maybe what the fish are. Maybe scratch up your boat. Scratch your boat a little bit. You don't buy a boat okay. to look pretty. You buy yeah. a boat to catch, to catch fish. fish. We had to go under some trees today. Um, we had to push real hard. <laughs> we pushed. We hold up the trolling motor. Squeeze, lay down on our knees. Real, 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 faster. Nice, skinny. <laughs> hey, man. The girls, everybody, I mean, they were looking at us hard, some hard stares when we came by there with that camera boat this morning. I was like, I mean, they don't think we can do it sometimes. That's the only difference, only difference. Girls can fish just as much as guys. I know it's a male-dominated sport, but, I mean, we've always said that it doesn't make any difference what gender you are. Everybody can do it, so especially all, all the little girls coming up, if they want to do this, you can do it. Everybody can do it. Oh, he's got it, I think. Where he's hung on bottom, he's got it. Get him. Well, Lily Smith from this Abbeville High School team obviously worked all the work to get back there. She scores with two solid keepers. They are on their way on the second day of competition, and they will have their hands full because uh, despite their great record in high school competition, they're up against last year's champions, Grayson Morris, Tucker Smith of Briarwood Christian. The Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And by Mossy Oak Fishing. Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. This is a big, big event, including the field here on day number two. All 300 teams are out there on giant Kentucky Lake. Certainly had a great tournament last year, and of course it was uh, won by the team from Briarwood Christian School, Grayson Morris and Tucker Smith. And Believe you me, we are on that team again today because they knocked down the number one weight from day number one here in 2019. A lot of places to negotiate, but this place where we find them back in the reaches, the upper reaches of Sandy Creek, very familiar from last year running. They are indeed. They've changed a little bit. The water level was a little bit lower last year. It's a little up now, up in the bushes, more cover to fish. A lot of these ditches, these really shallow creeks, people are like, where are the fish going to be at? Well, they only have certain places they can be, right down the center, right off of the little points. And these guys uh, put a couple baits in their hands last year, chatter bait, they flipped some. And a lot of these little uh, points and ditches and the edges of the lily pads and the bushes really factored for them. And they had it all to themselves, so they really could experiment from practice throughout the tournament and learn it as they went along. This year, they knew what they were expecting coming in there. They knew uh, the key areas, but they have dove in and found a couple more because they've got some company this year. Obviously, if you win a tournament on the national level, gains attention, people notice, and then people experiment themselves, say, hey, this is a good area. It's still going to prosper this year for us. And the downside, Tommy, of being a national championship defending team is you go out boat one on day one, but you're the last boat out on day two. So a little bit more company in day two than they probably expected. Mm. Big and dude. Oh no, God. I think I got him hooked up. Get him in the net. Let's go, baby. Yeah. 
that's going to be the second keeper for Briarwood Christian School right there. It took him a while to get things started, just as it did on day number one, and that one actually a little bit bigger than keeper number one. So they're definitely on the right track. Our defending champions, we're going to go from Sandy Creek back up Kentucky Lake, not well, a little bit closer to Paris, Tennessee, let's say, but back in the brush, we saw them earlier. Abbeville High School, and we saw Lily Smith of Abbeville score with two quick keepers early on right now. Certainly a very, very qualified senior, Dalen Whaley, has got one scoped out right here. Dalen Whaley, who has qualified four consecutive times with different partners for this national championship. Well, I just caught these nice fish on this shaky head. It's a red bug worm, zoom, and just skipped it up under that log. And we just sit there and watch them eat it, just suck it in, let them swim off, set the hook. They love it. You don't need to catch him, I don't think. Do you? I Look at him. Pretty small, looks like. Him? That one coming. I don't know if you need to catch him down. He ate it though. Catch him. Yeah, you need to catch him there. How about that beautiful bean pudding? <laughs> Here, take him back there. Put that other one that's on the culling board. You can see the balance there from Trad Whaley, the boat captain, on, hey, should we catch this fish or not based on our weight? Are we going to save it for tomorrow? Hey, catch all you can catch when it's Kentucky Lake in the summer because you don't know the next day if those fish will be there. So good start for the all-girl team from Abbeville, South Carolina. They just boated their fourth keeper. Now we go over to Briarwood Christian, the day one leaders, three in the box, looking to catch their fourth keeper. We know bites are at a premium this week, Tommy, so every single one's going to be quality and very important. Biggin, biggin. Thought it was a big one. Not a bad one. We'll start putting them on the other side. That <sighs> boy. Holy crap. <sighs> 17 pounds, 11 ounces, and Briarwood stays in the lead. Let's hear for Grayson Morris and Tucker Smith from Briarwood Christian Academy. Well, a team trying to definitely make history here. Grayson Morris and Tucker Smith from Briarwood Christian School, 1911 on day number one. And they back it up with a 1711 on day number two. Total weight of 37 pounds, six ounces. Gets them about four and a half pounds or near that ahead of the rest of the field. Henry County High School, a team in second place. And Abbeville from South Carolina, another team obviously trying to make some history here. When we come back, we'll bring you the final day action here from Kentucky Lake. Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. This is it, the big day, the final day. We are down to 12 teams only from 300 over the first two days. And all these teams, well, they are on edge and ready to go. We've been fishing a lot of brush piles all this week, and today we plan on hitting the top water possibly a little before and just seeing if we can get a top water bite now that there's not 300 boats on all of the sides. I'm not, I'm not too bad nervous, but like the more I think about it, the more nervous I get. I don't think I went to bed until like 11.30 last night, so. Uh, we're gonna be running about to Concrete South End. It's about a two and a half hour drive. It's gonna be a long ways. We were always, always going for making top 12, but I never thought we'd be sitting in third place. We're just grateful to be here and especially the girl team in the top 10. That makes them work a little harder. We're going back in the back. Gonna throw a chatterbait and 
just to keep chunking that thing and throw it around and see if we can get five bites Stay before, on the before two o'clock. Back to back championship. We're gonna try. That's the plan. We're gonna try it. We're uh -huh. gonna see what happens. As you would expect, all four of our top teams with each with a little bit different game plan for today. But right now, let's go to the defending champions, Briarwood Christian from Birmingham, Alabama. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, going right back to the spot, which not only saw them win last year, but they've spent two days in here so far, the upper reaches of Sandy Creek. The good news for them, Ronnie, is they have much less company than they had on days one and two. They're very grateful to have survived, not only survived, but to have a good lead going in the final day. They've thrown those baits that have worked in past years and past days, but hey, it's the final day. You gotta pull out all the stops, maybe try some baits that they haven't seen in this area. That big worm just might be something they haven't seen before, you know? Especially this color. There's a little bit of water flowing out of here. Oh. Mama. Yeah, we can go hit that bank and that riprap and then come back. Make one more cast in there. Keeper to start the day, landed by Grayson Morris right there for Briarwood. If you watched last year, you remember this spot. Of cooler water, that pipe right there was something they sought out and they cited it as a big component in their victory in 2018. Right now, let's head from Sandy Creek and Briarwood Christian all the way out to a team that, well, one of the teams that would have to rank at the start of this tournament as a home team right here in Henry County High School. This is Mercedes Ellis at Gage Sherrod. They had a giant day yesterday, 19-4. Uh, I'm launching a, a big old football jig, and she's throwing a, a Texas rig worm, 10-inch worm. Uh, you know, we have our techniques that some one person can do better than the other, uh, help each other out and swap up on baits and stuff. You know, uh, it really helps out whenever you have a partner like that. We found this school not too long ago. And it seems like every day we come here, we seem to catch quite a few. Uh, they kind of school up pretty good right here. Um, just trying to hold a good spot. Net. Now she's got another one. So it feels good. Keep it down, keep it down. Swap it back. Might keep. We had our limit by right at nine o'clock. Um, it was pretty quick, like he said. We had to get through seven or eight short fish before we can actually get a keeper in the boat. But once we got him fired up, I actually caught one on a crankbait. Um, fired up a little school going. And they settled back down, but it feels better. It feels better. Huh? It feels better. Yeah, that's better. Keep him down, keep him. He's, he choked it. I don't think he choked it too bad. Tommy, we've seen it in the past. If you can get an offshore school of fish fired up on Kentucky Lake, it could be lights out until you can't catch anymore. They've had to cycle through non-keepers every morning, but now that they've got the keepers biting, they're going to try to keep that football jig and that big worm in the strike zone out on those Tennessee River ledges. And it can be a beautiful 
sight when you pull up on a ledge and they're loaded up. And that's what this team's doing. We've seen a diverse portfolio of baits that these teams have been throwing every single year on Kentucky Lake. It seems like a different pattern wins every single time. It could be jerk baiting in the back of a creek. It could be ledge fishing. It could be fishing shallow like Briarwood Christian has. But one thing we know, Kentucky Lake's always going to be diverse. It's always going to give plenty of opportunities to this 300 field team, especially with only 12 on the final day. Well, Henry County High School from just down the road, they, they're, they're carrying a little bit of pressure here. Being a being the home favorite is not the easiest thing in the world to do, but they are certainly getting it done with two good keepers so far. Back to our team from Abbeville, South Carolina. I know when you saw this footage, Ronnie, you said, yeah, that makes sense, a team from the Carolinas, and we find them on a boat dock. But obviously this is a place that they have some confidence in. Huh. Yes. What is this? I don't know. I can only catch small ones, apparently. Baby. Look at that. Baby. There's a brush or something right there, I think. Well, so far, this boat dock area has not paid off for the team from Abbeville, South Carolina. Uh, they lost a little volume yesterday, did 14-9 versus 17-15 on the first day, but there's plenty of time left here on the final day. Welcome back to Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. If you watch the Bassmasters enough, you've seen a lot of programs from Kentucky Lake and each and every time. We bring you a shot of this little spot, which is originally a loading uh, area on a railroad track. They used to flow right through this part uh, back before 1944 when this became an actual lake. Not only our high school national championship, but how about our Bassmaster Junior Championship? Let's hear it for Mike Abbott, Braden McNamara of Hartley's Hogs, bringing in about 20 pounds and three ounces. Great job in the Bassmaster Junior National Championship. Meanwhile, our high school national championship is well underway. Let's take a look at this team from Mount Pleasant High School here in Tennessee. They're from not far away, but they are going far away for their final day of fishing here today, Ronnie. They are going all the way from Paris, Tennessee, the better part of 100 miles, a long, long run, two hours to get down to the dam at Pickwick Lake. We're fishing below the Pickwick Dam, and it's two hours and 30 minutes from Paris Landing, running 65 miles an hour. Long, bumpy ride, that's for sure. <laughs> It'll make you tired. Two hour ride, two hour ride. Ah, dang it. Better ride the boat. Might be on top of them. Yeah. Feel better? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come on, baby. Yes. Get back out there. I don't know where I keep. He's 18 inches. Keep him biting. Well, we are almost halfway through this final day and this team from Mount Pleasant High School in Tennessee really just getting their day started because they made the better part of a 100 mile run from Paris, Tennessee, all the way to the Pickwick Dam. That, that is remarkable. We enjoy watching stuff like that. It is. It is impressive that they even are just able to fish on this final day, two and a half hours plus one way, and then they've got to make that trick back, only have three hours of fishing time. We've seen in past years, 
local community holes, those normal spots always produce, but then we'll always see an extreme really far away, really deep, really shallow. Extreme things always work in the summer on Kentucky Lake. It's just what you choose. The, the spots we see our defending champion team in look very familiar to us. They are. It's exactly the same area. They had it to themselves the year prior. A lot more boat traffic this year, but they're finding they're really learning. They might know this part of a lake better than they know their home lake because they've really had to dial it into specific areas where they're going to get a bite. A little movement from the Abbeville South Carolina team as well. They they tried to hunker down. You know, when you fish ultra shallow, you don't know if it's going to last one day to another. And so hot summertime, uh, three days, it's very hard to make it last all three days. And the other team we've been watching, Mercedes Ellis right here in Gage Sherrod from Henry County, not too far away in Tennessee. They've not moved that far today. Well, this is this is the lake I fish the most out of all of them. And most of our division tournaments are either on Kentucky Lake or Pickwick. So every time I get out on the weekends or if Dad and I go fish, usually it is on Kentucky Lake. So it's home. It's the lake I know the most about and gives us an advantage if we can just find the fish to get that advantage. Gotta have the big bites. Easy, easy. Scoot up, scoot up, scoot up, scoot up. Don't, don't go any farther. I'm not, but I gotta get turned out before you run one. Well, Mercedes Ellis has already got two keepers in the boat, and now Gage Sherrod scores for Henry County, Tennessee. What a what a great setup for a high school angler to grow up not too far from one of the premier oh, bass one. fishing destinations for almost seven decades now, Kentucky Lake. So this team with three keepers and plenty of time to add more. We come over to Tucker Smith and Grayson Morris. We knew it was going to be tough for this area has been pounded but they're just slowing down, staying focused, cycling through those different baits that fish maybe haven't seen yet, and it's going to maybe yield some fish for them later this afternoon. Three eights, but it's going to have to work. Watch out. I don't know if he's going to be 15. He's 15. Maybe. I saw his line go, shit. I thought it was a big one. Right off the freaking wall. Biscuits, baby. Old biscuits and gravy. <laughs> All right, third keeper landed there by Tucker Smith for your defending champions, Briarwood Christian School. Fishing in Sandy Creek as they did when they won the national championship last year. Said they're not going to lean so much on the places that paid off last year. They're going to switch a few things up, and I think we've seen that some so far this week. They switched up locations some, and they've also switched up baits. They've had to slow down. You know, and hey, it might not look like the biggest fish, but with a four-pound lead going into the final day, you don't need as much weight as you've had the last few days. You've done your work on day one and two. Now you need to sustain the blows that second, third, fourth, and the rest of the field is going to have in this afternoon because we know big fish are going to show up on Kentucky Lake at some point, maybe some smallmouth, maybe some current fish, but we know Briarwood's going to have a counterpunch late in the day as well. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's the Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championships presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors on this legendary place, Kentucky Lake, all 160,000 plus acres of it, 160 miles long as well. It is a giant bit of water for all these teams to negotiate, but we're down to 12 on this final day. And of course, we have our defending champions, a team from Briarwood Christian School, trying to repeat this year, but if this team has anything to say about it, well, Mercedes Ellis and Gage Sherrod would like to spoil the party for Briarwood today. 
got Briarwood on their mind, that is for sure. But having caught 19 pounds and four ounces yesterday, they know if they keep their heads down and have a good result, they can challenge big time. Um, they got to make everybody count, whether it be a keeper or not. So they could be doing just as slow as we are right now. Or and yesterday it was there's a lot of cloud coverage, but today is just I mean there's a few clouds, but the heat index is pretty high, so it makes it really hot, especially with the humidity the way it is. And there's no wind back here, so it makes it even hotter. That's it. That's it. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. God, no. that's a good one. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, there you go. Hi, fishy, fishy. I did it again. This one. It's been a while since we caught a keeper. In fact, this spot was the last spot we did catch a keeper. So it's got us feeling a little better about this spot, knowing that they're biting again and that they're sh and that there's shad back here busting. I'm feeling like there's a big fish under there. If we can just get him to get her to take it. Mercedes Ellis, despite her young age, has put in her hours here on Kentucky Lake. That's got to be somewhat an advantage right now as they're doing battle with Briarwood and all the other top 12 teams out here. Back to Abbeville, South Carolina, familiar spot, pretty much dirt shallow. Yeah, I'm in the freaking shade. Fish right there. 10 degrees cooler. Oh. No water back there. A lot of spider webs though. When it's the final day of the national championship, you leave no stone unturned. You're gonna search anywhere and everywhere for a possible extra bite. That's what this Abbeville, South Carolina team was, going dirt shallow, almost to where there's no water, looking for their first keeper of the day. We go over to Tucker Smith and Grayson Morris, and they're they're still plugging away in their area, Tommy. Absolutely. They have three keepers in the boat as it stands right now, and they know. They don't get a limit today. They are leaving this thing wide open. They put in the work. They've caught 1911 and 1711. Need a limit today for sure. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're sitting in it because it's sunny. In what? The ditch. I just dragged it and I didn't get any bites. Got him. Flip him. Flip him. Caught one on the chatter. For sure. It was like, he hit it like right at the boat. I saw it, yeah, I was like flipping. He hit it like at the troll motor. There's probably more right here. The defending champs won close to the boat right there and a good keeper as well, and they are looking better and better in their bid to go back to back. 
Bassmaster High School National Championship victories. Meanwhile, let's go almost 100 miles away to the Pickwick Dam. Well, we fished the other 140 miles that way and didn't catch fish. Yep. We decided we'd come up here and try. And just about wherever you go, at any dam, there's gonna be fish. Getting them to bite's another story. That's a little better, I think. He's torquing it. Bring it up. Bring it up. Ah, dang it. That's a better fish. Yes, sir. I think I'm gonna keep. It wasn't coming off. <laughs> Three pound drink. Ten three quarters. All I want to know is where did the brown ones go? All we're really doing is just letting our bait float down through the current. It's weird you're liable to catch a fish over here, but then all of them be over here. They're constantly moving right now with this overcast. Looks like it's raining on the pickwick side. Might need to pick up a shaky head. Might need to. Let me move back up some Well, now two keepers for this Mount Pleasant team, certainly fishing on borrowed time. They are sacrificing about four hours plus in total fishing time to the rest of the 11 boats in this field with them. As we all know, a lot of things can happen during the course of a long run too. So, but it's the final day. You gotta pull out all the stops and do what you believe in. Briarwood Christian obviously doing what they believe in, getting the good results. Henry County has eaten about one pound into their lead to start the day. Not pleasant down there with the two fish. And uh, North Lake Christian is actually supplanted in the top four, the team from Abbeville, South Carolina. So this thing is not done yet. Looking good for now for our defending champions. The Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And by Mossy Oak Fishing. Final moments, championship day here for this Mossy Oak Fishing Bassmaster High School National Championship presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors on daunting, oftentimes Kentucky Lake, the team from Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, located about halfway between here and Nashville. They were undaunted, took a big chance, made an almost 100 mile trip all the way down to the dam on Pickwick Lake. So they've got to get it done, got to get themselves a limit in a short period of time before making that long trip back. I'm trying to read. It's coming out through here. Look, it's coming right off the end of this wall, coming yeah. right in here and back out. So they all be sitting like right up from here, right? It's breaking right here and running up, going in. What? Reading the current. Where the floodgates are on, it's coming around this wall. It's coming from that wall to this wall. And it's bouncing off this wall and coming back out. And the fish are outside of the current on the edge of it. They have been anyway. Oh, that's probably good. Is she a brown fish? That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, get him in, please. Please, 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 please. That one right there is a bass. It's a grown one. Full grown. Brown fish, baby. Brown fish. Full grown brown. Let's check it out. See, like right now, the current just changed. They changed something because it's bouncing off this wall going back now instead of coming towards us. 
I was hoping that one there was a largemouth. Largemouth put up a fight like that. It's a good. She was pulling, wasn't she? Well, a team from Mount Pleasant in Tennessee certainly fishing with a sense of urgency. They got to wrap up their limit, get in the boat, and get going for this almost 100 mile trek, two hour plus trek all the way back to Paris, Tennessee. You can see the, the dimensions of it right there, but let's make a stop in Sandy Creek and check in with our team that is leading this championship, trying to repeat Briarwood Christian from Birmingham, Alabama. Come here. Come here. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my. Yeah. I saw his line go. Sh I thought it was a big one. And as we see, hey, it's not the biggest fish in the world. It's not the biggest fish they've seen this week, but it could be the most important. Keeper number five. Hey, we're going to weigh in with five. You can see by those fist pumps there, they may have sealed the deal and won back to back. <laughs> They're Gosh, on it. Now call that one. I don't think it will. You don't think? That one's freaking small, dude. It's not worth it. Stroking that jig. <laughs> Little skinny guy. Now that ain't it. There's another one that's small. Well, if you talked to Grayson Morris and Tucker Smith this morning before the fishing began and told them by this time of day you will be culling, I think they'd probably take that right now. Briarwood Christian looking very, very good on their effort to repeat. They will probably net maybe a half a pound out of this cull right here, so getting the job done. God dang it, that's bigger. <laughs> this one is bigger. I'm pretty sure. This one bigger? Longer. I don't know. It's skinny. Are they both that skinny? This one's got a bigger mouth, too. I think this one's bigger. Throw this one back, good. Yeah. I mean, there's probably no better feeling than leaving one of your spots with a limit in the boat. At minimum, you've done your job. You didn't lose the tournament. You might get beat, but that's because they've earned it. You've got your five, and that's what Tucker Smith, Grayson Morse have done. But there's still some fishing time left, and the local team has got their mojo flowing. With that big one they caught earlier, they're in a prime position for a big coal coming up. Is that a fish? I think so. Oh. <laughs> Keep him down, keep him down, keep him I down. I got him, I got him. So this is Yes! Woo! There we go. Here, here's some pars. My hand hurts. <laughs> that right there. Oh, sorry about that. Hey, Mercedes, get your. As soon as it hit that log, I felt something. It did not feel like I was hitting a log. I knew it was a fish, and it got wrapped around that log. 
Maybe we could do it. I knew those prayers would work. Uh, I'd say about four, something like that. Just as big as that one she called earlier. Well, first Mercedes Ellis and now Gage Sherrod, both of them grabbing solid fish from this very productive spot, a place that yielded, well, among other places, 19 pounds plus for this team from Henry County yesterday. But will it be enough to knock down the defending champions? We're about to find out. They're reaching in that live well, and I see on my screen they have five fish in the bag. New leaders, 15 pounds, four ounces, and Henry County is going to take it over. Let's hear from Mercedes and Gage from Henry County. It's about to go down. This team took home this trophy just last year. They're trying to defend their title. They were coming into today in the lead. Let's welcome them up. They are from Broward Christian Academy in Alabama. It's Grayson Morris and Tucker Smith as they drive up. Oh man, this is gonna be close. Step up, guys. 37-6 through two days. I'm gonna set the scene right here, side by side. You are looking for 11 even to defend your title. Henry County, get right here. If it's 10-15, we're going fishing again. Looking for 11 even, it's Briarwood. If it's less than 10-15, it's Henry County. If it's 10-14 or less, it goes to Henry County. Five fish looking for 11 even to defend their title. 12 pounds, 11 ounces. And that means Briarwood is going to go back to back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for Grayson and Tucker. 2019 Bassmaster High School National Champions back to back. Well, you think you're seeing something special right here, a 300 team field. And Briarwood Christian manages to get back to back victories consecutive years. Not only that, but they wire this event 19 pounds plus on day number one, dropped down to 1711 on day number two. They only needed just shy of 13 to get the job done. But boy, did they get the job done. Ronnie, that may be one of the most incredible, as far as just tournament standings, the most incredible effort over two years I've ever seen. That is very improbable for 300 plus teams two years in a row to win. You got a lot of pressure on you defending national champions to come back and to do it again. Not only did they do it again, they did it in the same areas they did before. Hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And these guys got it done. Very, very impressive for Grayson and Tucker. There is one tiny ray of hope for the rest of the high school fishing world. Grayson Morris will graduate. He's actually he has graduated. He will not be in high school next year. But we sure appreciate you being with us today for this great, great event. We'll see you next time on the Bassmasters. 12 pounds, 11 ounces. And that means Briarwood is going to go back to back. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for Grayson and Tucker. 2019 Bassmaster High School National Champions back to back. 